set. Hey everyone, this is Hossein from Ija Academy. And uh, today, Amir, uh, as usual, is here to help us. And Hello, Hussein. To, um, hi, Amir, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. All right. Um, so, Amir, I appreciate uh, your time being here, helping us to solve this problem. Sure. And um, so in this problem, this is a limit problem. And um, so in this problem, the objective of the problem is to show that zero to infinity is not an indeterminate form. Okay. Correct. Um, so to show that, um, suppose you have a function, uh, let's call it F. It is a positive function. It means that for... Um, like all x values, the value of the function is greater than zero. And if uh, the limit of f of x when x is approaching a is equal to zero, and the limit of g of x, another function, when x is approaching a is equal to infinity, then um, you need to show that the limit of f to the power of g when x is approaching a is zero. Mm -hmm. is not indeterminate is zero so yeah um so if you can um just go ahead and uh, the floor is yours uh, sure um uh, okay uh let's see what we get from the limit uh when x approaches to uh a mm -hmm. uh, f a uh, to the power of a g x okay f x is uh zero <clears throat> Jx is infinity, mm -hmm. so it uh, gives us actually uh, zero to the infinity. Right. Okay. Um, and uh, we have to show that the it's a determinate mm -hmm. value. I mean, the result of that is determinate because the answer is zero. That's right. why we have this expression here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like zero divided by zero or infinity divided by infinity. So this right. guy uh, is not an indeterminate form. Yeah, those are, uh, you know, for those applications, you you can use L'Hopital rule to yeah. find the... L'Hopital rule, yeah, right. correct. Uh, so, okay. Um, uh, let me call this uh, function y. Mm -hmm. um, so y is equal to f of x to the power of g of x. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> uh, when, whenever we have a, such power you know, form uh, for a function, it's good to use logarithms to right. get rid of the power. So I'm mm -hmm. going to use the natural logarithm ln. Uh, so I have ln of y is equal to um, ln of f of x to the power of g of x, uh, which is actually g of x times ln of... That is the logarithm property. Correct, logarithm property. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just shorten here g of x ln of f of x these two are equal so i'm gonna uh, look at the uh, limit of these two uh, mm -hmm. uh, functions on the left and right hand side therefore limit of ln of y when x approaches to a is equal to limit of g of x times ln of f of x when x approaches to a. Um, OK, uh, I'm going to deal with the right-hand side of the uh, equality. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, according to uh, limit properties, when we have uh, something like that limit of f of x times g of x when x approaches to a value is equal to limit of 
f of x when x approaches to a times limit of g of x when x mm -hmm. approaches to a, correct? Right, yeah, this is a limit proper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, limit properties. This is one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so, okay, uh, on the right-hand side, I can have limit of g of x when x approaches to a times limit of ln of f of x mm -hmm. when x approaches to a. Mm -hmm. um, from the problem statement, we have this guy, when limit of g of x, x approaches to a is infinity. So in here, uh, we have infinity value. Mm -hmm. uh, for this gun, uh, for this guy, actually, we know that uh, when x, uh, when um, uh, fx, the limit of fx, x approaches to a is zero. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So you don't so, exactly have that, but you can use a, another limit property. Yes, yeah. Maybe we uh, phrase it. So for example, yeah, in here, limit of ln of f of x, x approaches to a is equal to ln of limit of f when x approaches to a. Mm -hmm. So I'm rewriting the first expression here. I'm just, I, I know that it's infinity, but I'm just going to keep it. Right. Um, times ln of limit of f of x when x approaches to a. And we know that this is zero. Therefore, we have this guy as zero. And <clears throat> from uh, the graph of the natural logarithm, mm -hmm. we remember that, uh, let me just draw it. When this is x and when this is ln of x, and the graph is, um, something like that. Uh, and when uh, x uh, approaches, when uh, uh, yeah, x approaches to zero, which is here, when x approaches to zero, we see that the value, you know, goes to infinity. Right. So in other words, ln of, um, in a limit term, I emphasize that it's in limit term. Mm -hmm. So let me just put plus sign here, is negative infinity. That's correct. Uh, therefore, the second term, uh, we have negative infinity. Mm -hmm. So I have infinity times negative infinity, which is negative infinity, correct? Okay, yeah. It's determinate value. Uh, therefore, the left-hand side of the equation here is equal to negative infinity. Mm -hmm. Limit of ln of y, when x approaches to a is equal to negative infinity or ln of limit of y when x approaches to a is equal to infinity, negative infinity. Therefore, um, 
limit of y when x approaches to a is equal to e to the power of negative infinity. Mm -hmm. We know that when we have a logarithm of a, the base of b equals to c, a is equal b to the power of c. To the c, right? Yeah. So I'm using this property. Logarithm property. Logar yeah, logarithm property. Mm -hmm. So um, this one is one to the power of e to the power of infinity and uh, e to the power of infinity is going to be an, an infinite number. Mm -hmm. So it's one divided by infinity, which is zero. zero. Okay. So therefore, limit of uh, y, which is f to the g. Correct. f of x to the power of g of x when x approaches to a is equal to zero. zero. Therefore, we showed that. It's not in the term. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, zero to the power of infinity is a determinate form. OK. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Yeah. Um, so as you can see, Amir, um, so for the viewers, as you can see, Amir used a lot of limit properties and logarithm properties uh, to solve this problem. So it's important to uh, review those properties, um, you know, and refresh your mind about those. Thank you, Amir. And uh, this is all for today. And hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you learned something, please uh, like this video and also consider subscribing to our channel for uh, future videos. Thanks, everyone, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you. Bye.